Hi, my name is Brie Walker. I go by she, her. I'm the host of Queer Talk Podcast. And today we are gonna go over the five myths surrounding pronouns. But first I wanna say, even though I came out as queer, I came from a pretty small conservative town without much knowledge about pronouns and pronoun usage. So if you guys are like me, you probably heard a lot of BS surrounding pronouns that just simply are not true. And here are the five myths that I heard growing up here. So number one is the idea that you're saddled with the pronouns that you had used from birth. And that is just not true at all. You can use whatever pronouns you wanna use. If you were born male and referred to as he, him, you don't have to go by that. If you were born a female and you were referred to as she, her, you don't gotta go by that. Uh, you can use any pronouns that you want regardless of your sexual orientation, your gender presentation, or wherever you fall on the gender binary. And number two is that if you want to use they, them, you somehow have to be androgynous presenting or you have to be more masculine presenting if you were originally more feminine presenting and vice versa. You have to be more feminine if you were originally more masculine. Not true at all. You don't have to adhere to any of those ideals. You can be feminine and you can be born a female and still use they, them pronouns and vice versa. It does not matter. You're valid either way. Whatever makes you feel more comfortable is what you need to use. And number three is to use they, them, you have to be non-binary. You don't have to be non-binary at all. You can be anything that you wanna be and if they, them makes more sense to you and you feel more comfortable using that, you don't have to label yourself as being non-binary. You just don't. You can label yourself any way you choose or you don't have to label yourself at all and you can still go by those pronouns. And number four is that they, them is a plural word and you can't use it in singular form. And for that myth, I think is completely hilarious because if you're referring to someone, let's call that person Tom and you're referring to Tom and Tom is over there and you're talking about Tom to your other friend, Jill, and you say, hey, they're over there. I mean, you're still talking about someone who's singular, but you're saying they're over there. So for someone to not be able to use they, them because it's plural doesn't really make much sense because we refer to people all the time as they, them. And the fifth myth is that when people want to be referred to they, them, it's because they feel like they are both genders and that's why because some people still think it's a plural term and that they're both genders. And it's not true at all. A lot of people who are non-binary or go by they, them, they don't feel like they are they fit into the gender binary in terms of they don't feel like they're a man, they don't feel like they're a woman, so they don't feel like they're any gender. So they're not trying to be both. They, they don't subscribe to either one and they just wanna have something to where they feel as they're most comfortable. So there you guys have it. My name is Brie Walker and those are the top five myths of pronouns and pronoun usages.